We are looking at a secondary air or air injection system. It includes an air pump, an air pump switchover solenoid, both controlled by the powertrain control module, air pump switchover valves, tubes, and cylinder head openings to the exhaust system. This system helps to minimize hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide emissions during initial warm-up. The air pump draws in air through a maintenance-free filter and pumps it to the air pump switchover valves. The air pump switchover valves prevent exhaust gases from flowing back into the pump. The air pump switchover solenoid is supplied with vacuum from the intake manifold through a check valve. When the air pump switchover solenoid is activated, it passes engine vacuum to the air pump switchover valves. The air is delivered into the cylinder head openings to the exhaust. The injected air reacts with the hot exhaust gases in the outlet port. An oxidation of carbon monoxides and hydrocarbons takes place and results in additional increase in the exhaust temperature, bringing the catalytic converter to operation more quickly. On this particular system, air is allowed to enter the exhaust when the PCM actuates the air pump relay driving the air pump and the air pump switchover solenoid. This can occur after engine startup for up to two and a half minutes. It requires a coolant temperature greater than 10 degrees Celsius, but less than 60 degrees Celsius, an engine speed of less than 3000 RPM, and less than wide open throttle. We're going to start the engine at room temperature and monitor the air system operation. But first, this is what idle sounds like without the pump running. I've installed a voltmeter in parallel with the pump so that we can clearly see when the pump runs. We're starting the engine. One minute and twelve seconds. That was a normal cycle of the system. The powertrain control module monitors this system for functionality. If the enable criteria are met, the powertrain control module will run a monitor on this system once per drive cycle. It will drive the mixture rich and then turn on the air pump at a time when the system wouldn't normally function. The oxygen sensors should signal exhaust gas leanness, confirming that air was successfully injected into the exhaust stream. Failure to respond will set a diagnostic trouble code P0410. When diagnosing a system related diagnostic trouble code, a technician can use a scanner to turn on the system, delivering air to the exhaust system. 
the tech can then watch for oxygen sensor lean indications verifying that the system functioned and can go on to do voltage checks at the air pump and the switchover solenoid to narrow the problem.